So much for grieving in solitude and silence. They sound like they're singing. Because there's so much heal in there. And then they meet so many people that's going through the same thing. And so that, that emotional piece is, is a hard piece sometimes. But when you have a group that's just loving you up, then <laughs> you, you know, you, you can see the next day real good. <laughs> Shirley Quickly Green has one thing in common with the 50 others gathered at Alyeska Resort by TAPS. Loss. They're all tangled up here. For these four days, for these parents from all over America who are grieving a fallen hero, the opportunity to take off that body armor and just be, to hug, to laugh, to cry, to share is extraordinary. Everyone here at the Tragedy Assistance Support for Survivors, or TAPS Retreat, is a survivor who's lost a child, parent, sibling, or spouse serving our nation's military. But instead of wallowing in their grief, don't let them catch on fire. They're building igloos, snowshoeing, and dog sledding through it. This is fantastic, for real. Um, I never would have thought that I would be able to, to do something like this. We're sharing our, our loved ones and, you know, and the memories, and, and everybody knows what you're going through. So, yeah, it's really special, you know, and thank God for Bonnie every day. <laughs> Born through Bonnie Carroll's personal tragedy here in Alaska, grown through shared experience of loss across the nation. This is how the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors has been helping mourning military families move forward for 20 years. There's nothing more healing than just to meet another person, to know that you're not alone, that you're not going crazy, that there is support and comfort and care. While tears and sadness are welcome without judgment. Any of this is cool. <laughs> it is joy and laughter commemorating the sacrifice and service of our fallen heroes at the TAPS retreat today.